Hello, hello, this is 13 Signs Tarot. I'm Harley and this is going to be another pick a card reading. Uh, per request, you guys asked me to keep the pick a card readings coming. So that's what I'm going to do. This uh, reading is going to be on who is in love with you right now. So we're going to find out who's in love with you, how they're feeling. Well, hopefully they're in love with you, right? Uh, but we're also going to be looking at what's going on in the connection. Okay, so we're going to get as much tea as we can on your person. We have three piles as usual. I was thinking about doing four, but I don't want to overload my Myself right now I'm really trying to get to the place of balance because I am a natural overworker so with that being said uh, we're gonna do three piles you have uh, carnelian which is the gilded tarot we have the uh, amethyst which is you like look at it so beautiful I always have to give this stone props thank you to whoever got me this this came in a kit that someone got me I just love raw amethyst I'm gonna have an amethyst tub before I kick the bucket that's on my bucket list anyway um, and this is going to be the Tarot Lum Illuminati deck. And then we have Tiger's Eye, which is the David Bowie Tarot deck, which is a really awesome deck. Okay. So we're going to, uh, let you guys choose your pile and then we'll get right into it. All right. Okay. So give you guys time. Okay, so pile number one, which is the Carnelian Stone. Uh, just to let you guys know, I do have another channel. It's called Six of Cups Tarot, and I am offering some uh, readings on that channel for you. If you want to get a love or soulmate reading, you might want to follow me. I'll try to link it below in the uh, description box, okay? So pile number one. Your card is forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So this is someone that you may have to forgive, okay? This is someone that there was, um, there was like some, I don't know why I just heard treachery. Oh God, I hope this person wasn't treacherous. So maybe this person betrayed you or there was some energy of betrayal here, or this person may be going through that process themselves of forgiving someone who they felt betrayed by, okay? So there's definitely the energy of forgiveness with this pile, okay? So let's see what we have to forgive this person about. So the person who loves you, they could be a Leo or an Aquarius, okay? Um, but they want to come back around. So this could be someone you detach from. There's not a lot of talking with this person. Yeah. Is this someone who wants to apologize? So pile number one, I get someone that you are not speaking to. They want to apologize to you. They want a second chance. They want a chance to be happy with you, to have a union with you. This person's very in love with you. This person feels a calling to you. They feel drawn to you. Okay. Yeah, this person wants victory with you. They see themselves... Um, getting with you as a victory they see themselves conquering whatever issues that they were dealing with um this person can be very cold if they want to be and very detached yeah some of you are fire signs aries leo sagittarius women are your very powerful confident beautiful and this person um yeah the feminine is connection this person is fascinated with you almost obsessed okay this is what i'm getting Yep, Ten of Cups. This person views you as ultimate happiness. They see this connection as the next level in their life. Supreme happiness. Where do we go from here? There is no higher. Okay, and when I see bees, I always see like some of you are like very powerful women. Um, You're fertile, um, very confident, like queen bee energy. And they see you as the queen bee. If you look at the bee in the background there. Yeah, they see you as the uh, matriarch in their life. Okay. Yeah, Hyperfin at the bottom of the deck. This person's very traditional. Um, they could be a Taurus, of course, right? The Eight of Cups. So this is someone, like I said, you've walked away from them. I keep seeing this person might like your butt. I don't know why I was really drawn to like your butt. So they may watch you when you walk away or when you walk in front of them. They're very sexually attracted to you. This person may want to put a baby in you. Yep, see, Five of Cups there. Like, please take me back. They're shedding tears. This person has cried over this connection. Um, they've cried because you they've disappointed you in some way. They could have cheated or they could have kept you as a third party. They feel like you've taken your love away from them and they cannot handle it. This person is begging you to forgive them, not pile number one. So if you are not on the outs with somebody, like I'm hearing 90s R&B begging, like keep sweat type of begging. Um, okay, I just heard boys to men. Can you tell me how to get this back to the way it used to be? I'm down on bended knee. That's your pile. Let me write that down so I can put that bended knee. I 
forgot to put that in my one reading, whatever. I just remembered I forgot something. So I'll try to remember to, to put that song down there. But you guys heard it. That's your song for this person. Bended Knee by Boyz II Men, I think it's called. Okay, so we have the Six of Swords. They don't want to fight with you. They want you to, like, put down your defenses. They want to come out of this conflict with you. They want to come to a, a better resolution with you. Okay, some of you, there's already children in this connection or they want to have children. For some of you, they want to be the step parent to your children. You may have two uh, and they want to step parent your children. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So it's just time for this connection to come together. The outside influences with the Wheel of Fortune means that this person has played out some karma. They've resolved karma in their life and they're ready to uh, be with their person. You know, they feel like they've paid their dues to the universe. Now, it's up to you whether or not you want to decide if you want to accept this person back. But this person definitely um, is ready for a union. This is like things finally moving forward. So this connection was very rough for you, pile number one, but I see things finally moving in your favor with this person. And we have the page of pentacles begging do i need to say more they could be a capricorn taurus or virgo i'm getting strong earth could also be a sagittarius involved here they want to ask you to marry them for those of you who are not married to this person the page of pentacles is a tangible offer to me it's it doesn't have to be a marriage but they can want to ask you for commitment it's something stable it's something that makes this relationship a thing like we are together we're building um, this also could be a child. So again, a daughter, a girl child, this person could want to put a baby in you. I was seeing that they may already have a child and they want you to step parent that child. So that could be another thing that they, you know, their thing that they start to um, process with you, you becoming more involved in their child's life. Um, but this also is a token of, a, of affection. It's an apology. It's a gift. It's something tangible. This usually comes around with somebody messed up. Okay, usually doesn't always have to be, but it's one of my apology cards. So this is a very clear message, Paul, number one, especially with this forgiving and learning card. This person has learned their lessons. If you took their love away from this person, they want you back so bad. When bended knee is what I'm hearing. And this is also bended knee is proposal. And we have the hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so let me get some advice for Paul, number one. But this was a very clear message that the person that loves you wants you to take them back. You're advice is the king of wands so you could be dealing with the sagittarius aries leo person the heck the eight of swords okay if you're thinking about reaching out to this person because some of you are fire signs or, or people who are very you can be impulsive the universe is telling you to wait for this person to to reach out to you um, or if you're afraid to accept this person's call or their messages, they are telling me there's no need to fear this person. I'm almost getting it safe for you to love energy with this person, okay? So, yeah, some of you, if you're fire signs, yeah, let this person come to you with the Knight of Swords. There's going to be communication between you and this person. They're definitely coming back around. Some of you, it's a Leo, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, King of Cups. Oh, yeah, this person's willing to fight for you person's willing to fight for you some of you it's a water sign it's a scorpio that broke your heart from the past or cancer pisces um if you're dating other people it breaks this person's heart that's kind of why they're coming back around yeah it bothers them very hard like if you moved on and you're dating other people they feel like you're their person okay they feel like you are their counterpart but you're looking away from them and look what they're doing they're looking at you okay so this person's having a very hard time with you moving on and dating other people they're definitely going to come back around on bended knee is what i'm hearing and asking for forgiveness damn near begging and asking for commitment something really traditional okay i feel like this will happen within the next two months for a lot of you okay so pile number one, this was a very clear message, very positive, and I'm going to leave it like that because I love when the messages are positive and clear. I'm not going to try to create something. So again, if you need a personal, check out my other tarot channel, Six of Cups Tarot, um, and you can book a reading through there if you need it. They're very limited, so get one while you can. Uh, just like, also subscribe, comment on this video, guys. Let me know if you're resonating with these. I really, really appreciate all the feedback that I'm getting, and that's why I'm keeping them coming. The more feedback I get, the more I know that I'm doing something right. That's just how my mind works, so I appreciate everything you guys do for me, okay? Thank you, pile number one. We're going to get into pile number two. So the amethyst. Okay, so pile number two. Let's see what's going on for pile number two, which is the beautiful amethyst. The beautiful amethyst. For my smart people, because amethyst people are intelligent as hell. Okay, 
so let's see we have let go of control issues this might be my pile every time i get this card i know it's my pile because i'm a control freak but it's because we're smart no we, we have a lot of aquarian energy some of the uh amethyst people okay so very fixed um but they're telling you to let go of control issues okay i'm, I'm getting a very powerful energy somebody gets headaches somebody you get migraines if you get migraines you need plant-based food more plant-based food i'm not saying go all plant-based this is what they're telling me to tell you and i'm learning a channel so some somebody out there needs that message it's either you or your person somebody um has headaches or migraines possibly from overworking and you may need to eat more plant-based not saying you have to change your diet but they want you to eat more raw or something like that okay just telling you guys for those who get migraines possibly from working too much um it's not, I don't, whatever. It's not, it's not my business. Why that came out. Somebody's angel wanted them to know that, okay? So, let's see. What's going on for pile number two? Who's in love with them? Somebody who feels you're a complete freak. Somebody who wants you to stop trying to control everything about the connection. They feel like you're not letting the connection happen on its own. Okay, so this person wants you to chill pretty much pile number two. Let's see why. I'm not saying that you, it's, they may want you to chill because you're, they're not doing right. You know, so let's see. Let's see. Who is pile number two? Who is loving pile number two? Who is in love with pile number two? Let's see. We have the Capricorn energy. I knew this was going to come out. I knew it. Okay. Because I felt like this person may be someone who's not necessarily up to any good. Ooh, sorry. This person may not be up to any good, but they are, and they could be possibly even breadcrumbing you. This could be someone who's dealing with two people. Definitely could be a Capricorn. Two of Swords, indecisive, indecision here. They are not ready to make a decision. So the person that's in love with you are is most likely entertaining two significant individuals in their life. But I feel with this devil card here, they are stuck in some karma with somebody they haven't resolved something with someone so there's a person who may have control over them therefore they can't give to you the way that they want to this person feels like things are out of their control when it comes to you they think that the lovers what i tell you they have a choice between you and someone else this could be a gemini or a capricorn i rebuke this pile i ain't taking this pile Let me stop. yeah whatever it's, if it's real it's real i'll take it but this person yeah they love you, but they also love someone else. I'm not going to lie. They have a connection with someone else. We have the lovers and the devil here. Yeah. Okay. We have the wheel of fortune. So there's going to be a tower moment of some sort. There's going to be a shift in this connection very soon. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius. I'm seeing somebody having a Chinese zodiac of the snake. Maybe the year of the snake. Um... Leo, Aries, okay, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Yeah, somebody might have a snake or dragon, um, eagle totem too, eagle totem. And I'm seeing connection with Egypt here and Greece. Yep, don't know why that's important, but seeing that here. Okay, anyway, somebody's an alpha, somebody's in a um, sorority, somebody's in a sorority watching this a sorority could even be a, a fraternity okay so some of you may be still in college so maybe someone's getting out of college and maybe that's the change in the relationship i'm just channeling right now guys sorry okay we have the knight of wands so this person's out here being a hoe sagittarius energy sorry sag um but wheel of fortune and knight of wands next to each other sag twice leo and aries i was getting that strong so this person has a sex addiction they have a sex addiction. This person just doesn't want to grow up yet. They're, they think you're controlling because you want them to actually ascend into their higher self and stop with this lower vibrational energy. So you're not asking for too much, pile number two. And I'm not really, I'm really not saying that. If I thought you were being a control freak, then um, I would say, but it's actually this person who's a control freak. They like to have their freedom because that keeps them in control, not having a deep attachment with someone else, but they do have one with you. And looks like with somebody else, three of cups. Hmm, I don't like this person. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this person is determined to keep you in a third party situation. They love you because that's who's coming up. This question is who, does, who loves you? And if you believe that 
because this person is dealing with other people they don't love you that's fine i'm not saying that's not true everyone has their own definition of love i feel like this is a a broken person or someone who's very they have a very dark energy about them and they necessarily don't equate sexual exclusivity with love they love people for different reasons they're not the type of person to hold out from sex from someone just because they don't love them they're they're like that okay so let's clarify this knight of wands energy is this king of wands some of you are dealing with the air sign a fire sign okay it could be an air sign a fire sign this person does this because they're not happy though they does they do this um playboy player energy because they're not happy in life they're they're depressed on the inside so they give off this like they don't care attitude they're suave they've got you know aries leo type of energy you know casanova they do this because they're not happy with their life uh, they could be married this person definitely could be married especially with the devil here in the king of wands this person could be married and they're unhappily married so they do this because they're unhappily married okay i see leo and capricorn here sagittarius and gemini moon and libra as well so this person wants to keep you this person does not want to let you go this is a very dom type energy i don't want to say christian gray but could be a little christian grayish this person wants to keep you around they don't necessarily want to make a decision right now they don't want to make a choice but they do want to keep you because they love you why is the three of cups here why do they want to keep my viewers why do they want to keep my viewers why do they want to keep my viewers in their life because they love you I'm telling you, the King of Cups, this person has deep emotion for you. They miss you when you're gone. This person may be obsessed with you. We have the King of Cups and the Devil. They're so into you. They love you and they're obsessed with you. So I don't know what y'all did, pile number two, but they want you to let go of control issues, I think, because they do have intentions of being with you. But let's, let me just see. Does this person have intentions of being with pile number two in the future? Ooh. Sorry, guys. Cards flying everywhere justice card upright yeah this person wants to marry you in the future if they have to get a divorce to do that then that's what they want to do but it may take them some time so that's why they're trying to keep you around even though they can't make a decision right now the two of swords is telling me that this person feels like things are out of their hands right now give me the justice card please clarify justice one more time clarify justice yeah okay yeah definitely hell yeah oh my god pile number two what y'all doing? No, I don't want to ask if this person got a brother. I don't want this person. No, they're already damn brother. They a little. This person's a little. Ugh. They 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 are good at the end of the day though. They they just they have a very dark personality. They could be like a Capricorn or a Scorpio. I'm getting deep energy and very possessive and maybe a little obsessive. But maybe y'all like that shit. Um, maybe they don't want you to have control issues because they have control issues. This is somebody to me. To be honest with you, with this King of Wands and King of Cups. And the devil, this is a man that will take care of you for me. This is somebody who will want to be a protector, provider for the children. They may already have children or you have children. They want to be the step parent. They are not going to, they're going to be very protective over this union with you, very protective over their household. And they're going to be very masculine in their presence, providing that type of thing. They see you as the Queen of Wands, so you could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could also be an Aquarius with the Star card. A lot of you are famous, internet famous, social media famous. You get a lot of clout, whatever. You're very productive in your life. You're very fruitful, abundant, and attractive, and they like that about you. They feel blocked from you right now. There's still some healing that this person needs to go through. Some of you may have blocked this person, especially if you're a Sagittarius. But they still have hope of being with you in the future. These are the cards that you guys got. The Star, the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. This person could be a fire sign and therefore you are their counterpart or one of your fire signs. This is the couple that came out together. So they also could be being blocked by a Sagittarius. Like they could be being blocked from you from another person. Like they could have a Scorpio in their way, a Libra in their way, a Sag, a Leo, Aries. There is somebody they're married to possibly. They could be married. This person's strong married or deep commitment. It's either children here, contracts, leases, cars, that type of thing. Let's see. Why does this person feel like they can't be with my pile number two right now? Money. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, they're not they're not stable enough. Either they're not single with the nine of pentacles. They still got to get a divorce and they also need to get their money up. Their money's not right. The Six of Swords, there also could be children involved for this person. So this person wants to be with you in the future, but they can't 
give to you right now, but they also don't want to lose you. So it's up to you what you want to do with this person. That's not what this reading is about. This is about who's in love with you. So this person's in love with you. You're probably sitting here wondering, for those of you who are still in contact with this person, you're probably wondering why they keep, you're like, why do you want me? Like, what do you want from me? Like, why are you here? It's because they see themselves marrying you in the future. This person does not express their feelings they express passion. This person, um, I do hear for some of you, the more sexually open this person is with you, the more they're willing to please you and be open with you is the how they show their love. Okay. Um, I know I said that this person doesn't necessarily have to be in love with someone. They don't. They don't have to be in love to inter have intercourse with someone. No. But the intensity of the love making, if there's kissing, if there's you know, intensity, they stay after you guys have your whatever, you know, that type of thing, or they just talk about how much they want to be with you. That type of energy is how this person um, shows how they love. They're very expressive, like from a passionate point. Emotionally, no, but they do have feelings, but they keep them close to them to themselves. And I think it's because they can't give you exactly what they want right now. So they don't want to feel like it's like they don't want to get you um, like, oh, we're going to be together tomorrow, but they do want to be with you. So I, I don't know. Pile two is a little complicated, but that's what I'm getting. And I'm not going to change it. That's what I'm getting is this person wants you to like, because a lot of you, you're blocking this person or you're like, no, you're pushing them away because they're not giving you what you want right now. And that's why they feel like you're trying to control things. When in reality, you're just asking for what you deserve and they want this with you. So this person does love you. Whether you're going to be with them or not is your choice, but they do love you. Okay. So that's pile number two. Let's get into pile three. Okay. So pile number three the tiger's eye which is the david bowie tarot deck okay so let's see if we're going on for pile number three we have deception someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship so this is someone who does not tell you their feelings they also could be being deceptive they could be uh, not telling you the truth about things when it comes to their life but they also don't tell you their feelings you don't know how this person feels which is probably why you're on this video okay Feeling strong Sagittarius energy coming through. <clears throat> Moon in Libra. Venus in Gemini. Somebody can have your Venus in Gemini. Um, somebody may have deceived you in the past and they want to come back around for reconciliation. So pile number three, you could be dealing with somebody who wants to apologize to you. Or even if they didn't deceive you, this person didn't tell you how they felt. Okay. Um, so they want to tell you how they feel. They want to be more open and giving to you and let you know that this is a real connection that you're feeling with them. Okay. So this person has a lot of love for you with the nine of cups. They also see you very um, abundant and fruitful. This person is very tempted by you. They really are into you sexually. They also may feel like you're a priestess. Some of you may be into the occult energies, spirituality, etc, etc. Okay, you all your cards just came out. Okay, so we have the hangman. We have Pisces here. This is somebody who's lying about their feelings, I feel. You know, the Queen of Wands. A lot of you are fire signs watching this. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They are very attracted to you. This person is very sexually attracted to you. They like how confident you are. Look at her hands on her hips. They feel like you dress well. You got it together. I'm getting, this woman looks like Angelina Jolie on this card. Tomb Raider Angelina Jolie, by the way. So this person feels like you're very abundant. They feel like you dress nice. You may be into the occult, though. I'm seeing triple goddess energy here. Some of you may be witches. Yeah, this card is so trippy. Yeah, some of you are definitely Leos. Some of you have affinity for snakes or someone has an affinity for snakes here. I'm getting August 13th, somebody born on August 13th, I don't know. Anyway, so um, yeah, very attractive to you. And the sunflower opening up at the top, 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 yeah, this person is very into you. Their feelings are growing, their attraction is constantly growing. Like this person just grows more and more attracted to you every day. We have the three of wands. Yeah, see, this person feels like their shifts have came in with you. They are like, how did I get this person? They don't, they like your fire. You, some of you are very fiery or very attractive, very seductive. Um, when you walk in a room, people pay attention type of energy and they love that about you. This person feels so lucky to have you. Like they can't even believe they got lucky. Their ships that like, when they see you, they feel like, oh, this is what I've been waiting on. This is what I wanted. So they are very much like, oh, how did I get this? They feel very lucky to have you, okay? We have the seven of cups. This person's confused though. They don't know what they want. So that's where the deception is coming in at. And the ten of wands and the emperor. This person has a big ego. 
They have a lot of burdens outside of this connection as well. What is this person confused about? They want you. What are they confused about, though? What are they confused about? Some of you block this person, Seven of Wands, so they're trying to figure out how to come back around to you. Some of you are Leos and they block this person. You block this person. If you're not a Leo, because this strength card just came out and we have the Queen of Wands, you've blocked this person and you're sticking to it. You didn't unblock them, this person. You could have been, this could have been somebody you had a, like you block and unblock type of thing with, but you've blocked this person and you're, you stop, you stuck to it. So they're trying to figure out how to come back around judgment in the Six of Pentacles. They're trying to figure out how to reconcile with you. Okay, for those of you who want to be with this person, you have to unblock them. I've been talking about unblocking people a lot lately. Why is the Emperor here? Some of you, this is an Aries or Taurus. Could be Sagittarius, Leo, Capricorn, Scorpio. Why is the Emperor here? The Death card. Okay, so this person is going to be willing to let things end with you for right now. Um, if they feel like they can't get through to you, they're going to try to let things go. Because they, they, for some of you, you put a wall up or you've been defensive to this person. Yeah, the world. Mm -hmm, the Four of Cups. So if you want to be with this person, you kind of have to unblock them. Okay? Either unblock them or open yourself up to them more if you don't want to do that because of what they did in the past. Completely understandable. That's not what we're here about. We're about we're talking about how it, who's loving you. This person is someone who is waiting for you to contact them. Um, you guys may have moved on from this person or you blocked them and you are not unblocked. You haven't unblocked them. Why is the three of wands here? The king of wands. Yeah, this person is very attracted to you. They could be a fire sign. The problem was with this person was so ready to have sex with you and be open with you, but they weren't ready to commit. So your problem with them was, was that you, um, they weren't ready to commit. So you kind of probably put an ax to the relationship or put boundaries up, but this could be a divine counterpart. Should, uh, divine counterpart relationship with the king and queen of wands here they want things to grow with you but they feel like they're not getting anywhere with you they feel like they can't get through to you with this four of cups so they could decide that you don't want to be with them anymore that's what they're what they're feeling and it's like this person's going to try to get a rat back with you or that type of thing but then i feel like their ego is going to start taking over like okay well if they don't want me then forget it give me some more cards on this connection please yeah you guys are dealing with somebody who's stubborn or maybe just as stubborn as you are. The lovers. You guys had some very good sex with this person. Hmm. The five of pentacles. This person misses the sex with you. You both miss each other though. But I do see somebody trying to reach out and the other one's not open to it because of what happened in the past. Yeah. So this person is going to detach from you guys. Like, yeah, this person is going to detach. They could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But once they realize that you're not trying to take them back, um, they're going to move on. For some of you, though, it's okay because honestly, I don't know if this person actually was planning on committing. Are they planning on committing to pile number three? King of Cups. Some of you, they want to have a child with you. Six of Wands in reverse, though. Eight of Swords. This person has commitment phobias. Ten of Cups. Okay, so this... I, I don't know if this person wanted a traditional commitment. I don't feel like this person wanted a traditional commitment. Maybe maybe they didn't want a wedding or they didn't want... You know, they didn't want the big frills, but they did want something stable. They do. They also want a child. This person may not have a child already, but or they just want to have a child with you. So this person did see a future with you. Some of you is an Aquarius or a Virgo. This person is slow to commit. This person isn't really into commitment like that, but they actually... This person actually did see a future with you. Now, now, keep in mind, this person did whatever they did to you to make you get to this point. So you have to figure out if you want to be with this person. Like I said, that's not what my uh, job is here today. My job is to tell you who's loving you. So pile number three, the person who loves you is someone who's very attracted to you. They feel very lucky to have met you. They feel like you are what they wanted. Um, they have a lot of love for you. The problem is this person probably has an issue expressing themselves and they have been more sexual with you than they have been compassionate, emotional, that type of thing. This person wants to commit when they wanted to. I almost hear like this person um, resists commitment a lot and they are not the type of person that can be forced into doing things when they want to do it. So this is the type of person, this is an ego person. Um that they would rather, they do want to commit to you, but they want to commit to you at their own pace, okay? So 
I don't know if you're going to reconcile with this person or not. I do see this person is going to move on if they can't get through to you. I feel like they may try. Some of you could be four months. Some of you, maybe the next two months, they'll try. They definitely miss the physical intimacy between you two. Okay. So it's like the less, for some of you, you're ignoring this person or you're just not open to them. So they're going to try to move on. Okay. Signs I'm seeing here, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius came up a lot. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Scorpio again, Capricorn, Gemini. I don't know if I said the signs, I might say them again, but I'm just saying them as I see them. Leo was very powerful here too, okay? So the person that's in love with you, they are in love with you, but they're not going to grovel for too long or try to patch things up. They know they did something wrong. Um, they are trying to figure out how to fix things with you and how to get you guys back on the same track, but this person does have a pretty big ego. So eventually I see them trying to move on because they are not getting what they want from you, okay? They wanna be free. This person, pay I feel though, uh, upon number three, I will say, if you don't take this person back and be with them, and I'm not saying this like to make you feel better, I'm just telling you that this person is not gonna be in a relationship with anyone else after this. They will be very detached. They're probably gonna be a bachelor or a bachelorette. They're not gonna get attached to people again after you. So just know that you've had that much of an effect on this person, okay? So I hope that this helps. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this. Um, thank you for um, all your support. Please leave a comment and let me know if you're resonating. I love feedback. It lets me know I'm doing the right thing. And if you do need a personal from me, you can check out my Six of Cups Tarot channel, okay? I'm doing readings there, all right? Bye.